While the city of Rochester and townships in Monroe County agreed to selling marijuana in the future, leaders in the town of Greece opted out. Still, the supervisor says they're busy regulating smoke shop owners and other violators who don't seem to get the message. Christian Garzone joins us with the warning issued by leaders tonight. Teresa, the town of Greece wants to let you know they're not messing around when it comes to this stuff. If your business is caught selling marijuana, it means you could get shut down and could mean time behind bars. Greece Town Supervisor Bill Rylick wants residents and business owners to know on December 8th, the town board opted out of allowing pot retail dispensaries to operate here in the future. Um, subsequent to that, there are approximately 15 different shops that opened up to sell paraphernalia, supposedly. Rylick said police started investigating and it wasn't just bongs and trinkets. Discovered that a lot of them, if not all of them, were selling marijuana illegally. Rylick said once determined these stores are selling pot, they get shut down on the spot and the goods are confiscated. He says the owners will never do business here again. Uh, I think the people that are involved in this know that the town of Greece is not fooling around. Police Chief Michael Wood said these stores selling marijuana leads to other more severe crimes. Heavy cash businesses, uh, we know from a lot of experience that that brings serious violent crime. Wood said in these stores are piles of cash, sometimes in the tens of thousands of dollars, and that can lead to... You know, robberies, murders, shootings, other types of things that we absolutely do not want in this town. So far, they've confiscated 100 pounds of loose leaf marijuana, 600 pounds of cannabis products, and 60,000 in hard cash. I can say we made five felony arrests. We've arrested seven people so far. Those felonies mean time behind bars of a year or more for offenders. I think we can, you can tell right now that we're very serious about this. And this isn't just smoke shops either. The police, she said, it's also been gas stations caught up selling pot. Teresa, back to you.